This rural homestead is where Craig Sautner had always wanted to enjoy a peaceful retirement. Instead, for the past two years, he's been fighting a war with a company that extracts natural gas locally using a method known as fracking. To show us the problem, Craig takes us to his basement. Like many rural Americans, the Sautners have their own well. But this is what their water looks like since drilling got underway around their property. Oh, it's got a weird smell, too. For months, this family drank contaminated water unknowingly. By the time the pollution became visible, everyone had gotten sick. My daughter had eczema up and down, you know, in her elbows. My son had it up and down his legs. Uh, my daughter had hives up and down her body. My wife had hives all over. And, you know, it all came from the water, using this water here. Craig believes this gas rig is the culprit. He and other victims say the drilling caused gas and chemicals to seep into the groundwater. But in this corner of America, most people are too worried about their jobs to care about the environment. Many locals rejoiced at the discovery here of what could be the biggest gas reserves in the country. Customers at this restaurant remember that until recently, there simply wasn't much to do around Dimmock. Many places are hiring until now because of the gas economy. Now everybody's getting jobs. It's starting to pick up real good. These activists disagree. They say the gas boom is only temporary while drilling could destroy the region's natural economic treasure, its environment. So this is a recreation, hunting, fishing, uh, um, and tourist area. And none of those activities are, are going to take place if there's drilling here and there's fumes and the kind of act, uh, industrialized industrial activity that takes place where drilling is done. Sacrificing the environment for money, it's a choice Bill Ely didn't realize he was making. He agreed to lease his land against a monthly check, a decision he now regrets. You know, it isn't worth it. It isn't worth it because you know what? I can live without that royalty check. I can't live without my water. I have to drink water every day or I'll die. Bill knew something was wrong when he discovered he could set his water on fire. How high is burning? Burning went this high. Put your We'll see, like, what we'll do it. Okay. Now he and his neighbors are suing the gas company and asking that their water be restored to its original pristine condition.